Hello, my name is Swamsi Krishna and this is my Studio Z channel. In today's video, we're going to see how to change this iPad into a drawing tablet. And let's see how to do that. Let's get into the video. If you want to change your iPad into a drawing tablet, you're going to need a app to be downloaded in your iPad. Um, that's called Easy Canvas. Go to your app store and search for Easy Canvas. There is two, two apps in the app store. Like uh, one is the subscription based and one is the, uh, the full time purchase version. So one time purchase. Like I bought the one time purchase thing. And uh, if you want, you can uh, subscribe to it or you, uh, you, you can buy it for one time. Uh, for one time, it's uh, $15 or something. Like a uh, fifteen hundred rupees, maybe. Yeah, that's that's what it will cost you. Uh, there are some alternatives like uh, uh, AstroPad and uh, Duet, Duet uh, Display Pro. I think. Uh, yeah. Uh, one thing is AstroPad works only for Mac, and uh, Duet Display works only for iPad Pros only. My my iPad is an iPad seventh generation, so I can't use your display or uh, or uh, AstroPad. So because I have a Windows laptop, and whatever reason it may be, if you want to convert your iPad into a drawing tablet, like if you purchase a Quick Studio full version one time purchase thing, and uh, you don't want to subscribe to the iPad version as well, so so if you want to change. Uh, the iPad into a drawing tablet you can do that. I think Easy, Easy Canvas is the best option for me, and I'll show you why it is the best option. Now go to your iPad and uh, open your App Store and search in Easy Canvas. Easy Canvas. Yes, this is the thing. Easy Canvas. Search for it. These are the things you will get. Easy Canvas. Uh, this is a uh, one time purchase thing, and uh, this is the subscription base. These are two different apps. I have downloaded this one. So I'm going to open it. This is the thing. The next thing you want to do is to uh, ship to your laptop and download its Windows client from their website. Uh, that's all. Now uh, let's shift to your uh, laptop and do that. Now in my laptop, and I'm going to open Brave and search for Easy Canvas. Easy Canvas. On the first website it will be easyandlight.com. This is the thing you you should go into. Click on it. Show you this. It works for PC and Mac. Uh, if you want to buy it in the app store, uh, you can buy it in Play Store as well. I'm going to download the PC program. Download it. Quick next. I'm going to skip this installation installation thing. You know, right? When the installation is done, it is going to show you this kind of screen and uh, you can connect it with the uh, red lighting cable and, uh, or you can connect Wi-Fi as well. But the first time you have to connect it with the uh, lighting cable, so uh, no, automatically it will be done but uh, through lighting cable only. Yeah, let me, let me connect the lighting cable and uh, I'm going to shift this camera and show you how to do that. Yeah, I can get bro. Let's get to the iPad. Yes, this can do it now. Let's connect this and Here. Now it's connected. Kind of now 
now let's just open this thing here. Open it and open yeah, this trust this computer and if you ask for your password and you have the end of the password after answering the password open the easy camera app please wait for the connection yeah and the display to show you like this and that display will be shown in here because of the resolution of difference it is going to show you half of the screen like here see only this much will be visible because of the resolution difference see it here Apple Pencil, you can use the Apple Pencil to draw and all that, we are just prepared. But before that we have to connect it here, if you are using this, you have to connect it before, before you, do, you connect it with this thing, with the lightning cable, let me just unpack this. When it is connected, you can you can unplug this if it is connected with my now. Let's just plug it in. Let me come out of this end. It will automatically connect from, from then on. So if the aspect ratio is not nice, you can change it here. Here it's clear. And resolution now will find you an item. And performance. Performance, uh, my performance only. And keep it in standard. Or major aspect ratio. You can see it here how it is changing. Yep, it seems to default. It will give you this black lines here, extra, extra eyes. If you want to change that, turn here. Click on it and resize it to whatever you need. So we yeah. Size difference, it's not working like that. You can change it like uh, you can change that by uh, 
I go in here and click on this and change it, drag it over here. Open and now go in here and drag it to the end. Nice, nice and good. Now you can use all the Photoshop tools in here. Let's take a brush. And let's take some general brush. General round brush. Now there is some lag, but it is good. Because the smoothie is on and the pressure sensor is not turned on, that's why the pressure is not active. Now it's acting right now. See? The tilt will also work, and if the brush has tilt, it also works too. Tilt also works. And let me. Let me turn down the small thing and oh, you can see the lag. If you are going slowly, it is in the lag will be not visible. If you are trying quite fast, then the lag will be visible. If the smoothing is turned on and is some kind of value, then the value, of course, will be visible. You can do whatever you want with this. Yeah. Now I'm going to draw something and let's, uh, let's see how it performs. If you like this video, please click a like and share. And if you and please consider subscribing to my channel. And thank you for watching. See you guys next time.